They are four dreaded letters, especially when used right next to each other. M-R-S-A, MRSA. It's really a serious concern. And are there patient groups who are more at risk than others? Sure. Uh, sick people, people that have been in the hospital, people that have relatives in a nursing home, uh, people that have relatives that have had a MRSA infection, sure. And let's not assume everybody knows what it is. What is it? It's a staph infection that is resistant to the run of the mill, almost all antibiotics that are out there that can cause these really annoying infections. Annoying and possibly? Possibly dangerous, although I, I would say that it's, it's rarely dangerous. MRSA infections, they are thankfully very uncommon uh, in plastic surgery procedures because the vast majority of our patients are healthier and in good shape. I do think that there are patient groups that we have to be aware of this as a possibility in. Um, and it's important to be able to have our patients follow protocols that will keep them safe. MRSA infections can happen in people with certain risk factors, as Richard alluded to, but also in people who work in healthcare, people who may work or, or live in kind of a group setting, like a, a dorm. So college students, nurses, people that are in types of environments where they share things um, are somewhat at risk for these types of infections. So if I see somebody that I know works in an intensive care unit or is a nurse and I'm thinking about an implant related procedure, mm -hmm. I will do some screening. Um, it's simple. It involves some nasal swabbing and some preoperative discussions and planning to keep them safe. Does the risk of MRSA increase if you've got to do one of your uh, plastic surgery procedures in a hospital? Absolutely, and um, I think one question a prospective patient might ask to their surgeon is what is the MRSA infection rate of the place where you're going to do my surgery? And surgery centers, because there aren't typically sick people there, tend to have lower infection rates in general, and MRSA in particular. Are there any procedures that provide uh, any more risk of MRSA than others? Well, infection rates certainly go up uh, with length of time. Uh, the major uh, sources of MRSA, the, the colonized patients typically have it in their nose. A lot of people have that in their nose and if you're going to do a procedure, whether it's a, a nasal procedure or a facial procedure, you want to be hyper vigilant about that, especially if there's going to be an implant related. For more information, go to theplasticsurgerychannel.com.